<laughs> well, the Build-A-Bear Workshop Pay Your Age promotion is back, but this time, hopefully, with fewer headaches. Hopefully, with fewer headaches. Oh my God, here we go again! Get ready for Build-A-Bear Pay Your Age Day 2 Electric Boogaloo! You're watching Chadtronic. Ladies and friends, my name is Chad Tronic and I'm here again today to talk about the Build-A-Bear Pay Your Age event 2019 edition. This was a topic I covered last year in its own video. Um, so you can go back and watch that video if you want. Um, it got a little bit of attention, just a little bit. For those of you who don't know what happened, um, I can basically summarize it quickly. Uh, Build-A-Bear last year in the summer of 2018, decided to have a special one-day sale called Pay Your Age. Basically, you come to the store on the day of the sale, and you pay for a bear in accordance to how old your child is. If your child is five years old, you pay $5 for a bear. It's a very simple and yet insanely overly advertised event that basically mutated into becoming a gigantic retail disaster. Have some fun. And get it for a sweet deal. So in light of the horrific results of last year's event, what does Build-A-Bear decide to do for this year? They decide to do it again! This time, let me tell you what, this time it was a mega hit. The lines were even longer this time. And by long lines, I mean no one. This footage is from Woodfield Mall in Schaumburg, Illinois, just minutes before opening for the Pay Your Age event last week. So the rules for the Pay Your Age event were a little different this time, and I'll just go ahead and let Chris of WPTV News summarize it for you. We posted about the promotion on the WPTV Facebook page and viewers are still venting their frustration with the more than 100 comments in just under two hours. The good news is the rules are changing. Guests will now sign up for Pay Your Age tickets online. Only 200,000 will be chosen. Tickets will be redeemable June 24th through 28th. So some things to remember if you're interested in this year's promotion, you have to sign up for Build-A-Bear's Bonus Club and sign up for those tickets by June 16th. So if you're a little confused how this works this time, I can word it just a little bit better. Uh, this isn't really a sale this time. If they changed it to being a sweepstakes. So first you'd sign up to their online bonus club which I assume is just a mass email marketing sign-up form. And after that, you just wait and see if you were lucky enough to win a ticket. And only then, if you did get one, could you finally visit a store and get the pay your age deal. I don't know about you, but for me personally, this kind of feels like a lot of hoops to jump through, uh, especially for parents with more than one child. Hey, you, surrender a bunch of personal information to us about your child and maybe, just maybe, if we feel like it, We'll give you a special discount on a stuffed bear, but only maybe if we feel like it. Build-A-Bear seemed oddly protective this year of their bears, making sure that not too many people get a good deal, uh, including a mother who recently lost her child right before the event. A grieving North Carolina family says they were denied a chance to honor the memory of their baby girl by Build-A-Bear Workshop. Six-month-old Dahlia died last Thursday. Afterwards, her mother asked the retailer if she could still use her pay-your-age ticket to build a bear in her memory. The company apologized to her mother for the loss, but told her the guest must be present to pay their age. It really hurt us. To me, it just felt like they wanted us to dig her up out of the ground and bring her there. Amidst a social media backlash, Build-A-Bear's CEO said they regret that first response. They've invited the family to the store for a special experience. I honestly have no jokes to make about that. That is just horrible. Uh, that's probably the most insincere robotic response I've ever seen to something like that. Probably ever. I'm just really glad that people got mad about that. So I tried to do as much research as I could as far as trying to find out in comparison how this year went compared to last year. I did a lot of 
video watching. I watched a lot of family vloggers trips to the store. From what I can gather, there wasn't a whole lot of excitement this year. Most vlogging families were able to just walk right into a store anytime during the day and get their bear. There wasn't really any lines at all at most places. This could have been due to the fact that the promotion this time was actually five days long instead of just one. It could have also been due to the fact that the online sign-up requirements were deemed too much a hassle for really only a chance to win a discount. Or it just could have been flat out something a lot of people decided to avoid this year, given it was such a disaster last year. <laughs> of course, I couldn't let another Build-A-Bear video go by without getting a little something for myself again. Uh, there's nothing more important to me than financially supporting a company that publicly shows how much they hate their customers. So let me show you what I got. Hello and welcome back to the Chadtronic Toy Room for another special Build-A-Bear segment. Um, I once again spent money online on an online Build-A-Bear exclusive. This is an online exclusive. And once again, just a disclaimer, this video is in no way sponsored by Build-A-Bear, just to be clear. Um, I'm just an idiot. These are things I should not be purchasing, but I am purchasing them solely for your guys' entertainment. So, I hope you enjoy this Build-A-Bear special unboxing segment. You guys will never guess what I got this time. You will never guess. It's Sonic! <laughs> so here we can take a look at the Build-A-Bear version of Sonic the Hedgehog. Overall, at first glance, um, he's pretty cute, actually. Um, it's not totally consistent with Sonic's design, but that's not, of course, something that everyone is good at these days. And, uh, he's a little- he's a little short. He's not tall and thin, he's kind of short and chubby. He's got some, like, he's kind of thick in the leg department. Um, yeah, but overall, he's very cute. On the bottom, on his shoe, they have the Sonic the Hedgehog logo, so that's kind of neat. Sonic plushes always kind of have a unique interpretation for how to make the back of Sonic look, and they did actually a pretty good job on this one. He's got a little tail. Check it. Check out the tail. Here's a quick look at the Build-A-Bear tag attached. Here is the official Build-A-Bear insignia on the hand. Here is the Build-A-Bear birth certificate for Sonic the Hedgehog. For those of you who don't know, Sonic's official blue color, at least according to Build-A-Bear, is royal blue. Sonic also apparently only weighs 14 ounces and is 17 inches tall. They also supply you with this collectible card that's got Sonic and a Build-A-Bear teddy bear on it. And you can kind of see it's got a neat little effect on it when you turn it. And it's got a back to it with some Sonic Fast Facts. Gotta go fast! You <laughs> oh, look at that. We have another one to open. I wonder what's inside. We've also got Tails as a Build-A-Bear plush. Although he's not considered an official Build-A-Bear plush like Sonic is. You can see also in size that Tails is a bit smaller. But that doesn't mean he's not cute. This one, this plush is actually... This is not bad. This is pretty cute. Alongside this special Sonic promotion, they also supply some accessories like this golden Sonic donut. That's pretty cool. I like donuts. Okay, calm down everybody. I know it's not a donut. I know it's a, it's a coin. It's one of Sonic's coins. That a Sonic the Hedgehog t-shirt. Sadly enough, even though Knuckles is on this t-shirt, Knuckles did not get a Build-A-Bear plush. Top 10 greatest video game crossovers. <laughs> Paramount Pictures, if you're watching this video, I really think Sonic should be depicted with this specific design in the new Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Sort of unrelated to this video, but speaking of the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, there's kind of like been a breakthrough on that whole conspiracy thing. Well, first of all, they said they're delaying the movie, so it's conspiracy theory debunked, but check this out. Now, remember what I said from that video, how there's no Sonic the Hedgehog movie merch with Sonic's face on it? Well, that changed. This is, this is the official 
Sonic the Hedgehog Halloween mask that was supposed to come out this year for Halloween. I think you can still buy this. This is this was real. They really intended for Sonic to look like this for the new movie. So conspiracy totally debunked. This is <laughs> this is scary. <laughs> That's probably the best way to end a video. Probably ever.